Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause the video right now to check out my social media, my radio show, and that drummerguy.com. And most of all, enjoy the following presentation. Hi, Josh. Hey, how's it going? Good, yourself? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you very much for taking time to do this interview. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, awesome. Well, uh, of course, uh, we're here to talk about the brand new album from Cataclysm, Meditations, which is coming out June 1st through Nuke of the Blast. I've gotten the chance to be able to check this out uh, over the weekend, and I easily can say this is my favorite Cataclysm album to date. I love what you guys have done here, and it's great to see the position that you guys are in right now in 2018. Yeah, it's really, really good to hear. I'm, I'm stoked about this album. We uh, we all worked all together for, for this one. We haven't done this in a, in a long time because we all live in different cities so what happens is we we all push in ideas through uh, like uh, our own home studio and internet and stuff and a lot of skype sessions that's how we did the last few albums but this one we actually all got together in, in one room and just work together as a band and i think that's what did it for for this record and the, the magic came out this way yeah, I mean, there there is obviously uh, bands and albums, and of course, uh, you guys yourselves, when uh, you're in that position where you can uh, write music for each other and uh, send over the files and then, uh, you know, eventually uh, start working together when it comes to the recording process. But when you're actually sit to, able to sit down in the same room and start writing music together, start working on the themes that are going on and everything, I mean, that is such a great feeling to be able to pull that off with the whole band together. Yeah, oh yeah, but because it's like we're... It's that vibe, you know. Like uh, one, someone comes in with a great idea, and then like the the other guy will jump on it and, and just like pitch in something else or bring it some some other places. And it's, it's just great to just be able to go back and forth like that, and and very quickly because we're just like some of the so, those songs were written so fast because of it. They were just like. Uh, pitching ideas at each other and it's just like wow at the end of the day we're like ah wow we have a song <laughs> and it's great so it's a I, I, I for sure I think that's the way I want to go in the future and just write together I think I think all bands should try to do that more and more because in this modern day and age I could see I, I see the appeal of like working long distance like that with the computer and everything but like it, it just I, I feel that it's the better way to, to go with everybody together in one room, like like the old days, and just jam. Oh yeah, I couldn't agree more. And, and speaking of that, so, you know, with uh, the songwriting process for some songs going by so quickly, do, do you remember what the first song was uh, that you started writing for the album where it started to click like that? I believe it was, and uh, I think I, I came up with the first riff, and just me and Ollie started jamming and and that that was like the very first track we we pulled together and then the second one was outsider and uh it's funny because they ended up being like uh the track one and two on the record <laughs> but like we didn't know that back then but uh, that, that's the the two first songs we, we came with for this record Oh, that's, that's awesome to hear that because that's such a great one-two punch for the album. I mean, when you go into Gatesian and into Outsider, I mean, it just it, it's such a great combination to be able to start off the album, and it really sets a tone for what the rest of the album's going to be. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I like the flow on this record. That's another thing because when we when you write, you don't really think about positioning and things like that. And it, it's, it's sometimes also doing it this way, all of us together in, in the room, you, you, we didn't really have the big picture till later of like where we're gonna place the songs because we because we have songs that are very different like uh that are very much uh, slower or, or more melodic and, and more uh, uh have a, they have a lot of different uh, textures and colors to to them and uh and yeah we weren't sure how to tie it up together but then like we we looked at like the demos coming together and and we we're like placing the order and like wow everything fits so great in that puzzle and and the, and has so much diversity, but yet it all fits together and like it attached itself together in, in, in this very cool puzzle. So I am very happy about that too. Yeah, and th there is such a great ebb and flow that really goes throughout the album. I mean, when you have stuff like Guillotine and then uh, you go into something like In Limic Resonance, which is uh, currently my favorite song off the album, and then when you end with oh, something awesome. like Achilles Heel, uh, Achilles Heel, I mean, just like there's so many great uh, uh, showcases of what the band is capable of, and it's so great to be able to see 
all these different sides on the album. Yeah, okay. it's it's great because it it all blends in together. That that was one of my concerns when we first ri- started writing because I was like, man, this stuff is so so different. So is it gonna work all together? And and it, and it did. So <laughs> I was very happy about that. You can tell like it's like this like even with all the different things going on there on this record like it it, it just it sounds like cataclysm every song uh on there like it, it sounds like us and you, you you could hear our signature craft in there and it, it's 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 cool i'm i'm, I'm happy about it i'm so <laughs> <laughs> And and with that, I mean, obviously with uh, being a part of the band for so long and, you know, just uh, being there from the beginning and being able to have this evolution in the band, but how do you feel about uh, your personal playing when it comes to this album? Um, I, I, me, it feels, to me, it feels like, uh, like, like, uh, I don't know, it, it felt like on the last, uh, previous records, the last a couple albums we did before that we we were getting in a mode where we're like okay we uh it's, it's almost become like like somewhat of an office job in the sense that you're like okay we're gonna put our record there then we're gonna tour then we're gonna do this then we're okay we're gonna write another album again and like we it's the the cycle just became so uh kind of repetitive and and just like work like almost but on this record it didn't feel like that to me it felt like everybody wanted to do this and we wanted to kind of bring the the, the, the energy back to what it should be playing in a band and and uh, that's that's the one thing I've noticed on this process on on, on this record like uh, I feel that um, like we're back stronger than ever and 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 just has that we just want to be um, kids playing in, in a band you know <laughs> and like and let go a little bit of that business side that sometimes like uh, takes over because you, you know you like it's it's, it's your job you want to pay the bills but like like I don't it doesn't feel like that to me on on, on this album so that makes me uh, that, that that's a nice thing and and from the outside perspective I mean that's why it's so great to see a song uh, a title like meditations being able to mm-hmm. represent this album I mean it really feels like the whole band is being rejuvenated here and it's for the best oh yeah I, I was excited when Mauricio brought the 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 title ideas to the table because I was like, man, this is refreshing, and it, it feels like it, it all makes sense to me. Like the the lyrics and work well with the music, and and the uh, the it's quite meaningful, and it, it makes sense to me as a as a like older metal metalhead uh, that like it's still like uh, lyrics that are relevant for me personally in my life uh, versus like sometimes like you you'll I'll listen to. S- some other stuff and i'm like man it's cool for a teenager but like for for a young adult like 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 we are in cataclysm it, it doesn't really it's not relevant to me personally but i feel this album like it does that the way he wrote the lyrics so that's that's really uh, interesting for me as well yeah and you know it's just like this album just has like so much of what i love about the band and again you just said uh, like i mentioned uh previous like i i love hearing that rejuvenation in the band i mean uh, from the melodic parts the brutal parts uh, the lyrics the theme that's going on i mean it just like feels like everything's in the right direction here and that's why it's becoming my easily my favorite cataclysm album to date i mean it's just i can hear that rejuvenation that's going on there everyone's loving what they're doing and once everyone gets the chance to be able to check out this album i think they're going to be feeling the same way um thank you it's good to hear you know because like uh i know when i do something i like and then i enjoy doing and i enjoy the whole process but to have other people uh, kind of feeling the same way about it it's that's really nice to hear and, and speaking of that so one note that i really do love uh, about this album is just how clean and polished the album sounds i mean just like everyone's being shown off to their best abilities from the production side how, how was it this time around uh, working with an outside producer when it comes to cataclysm i mean it was kind of a gamble for us because you know you you never know because our, our, our music is so extreme and needs a certain type of, uh, of uh, process to it to be able to be uh, delivered right. And we weren't sure if going with a guy like Jerry Rustin, which is more of a traditional heavy metal rock producer, uh, that, that it could work. Like I, I, we, we all knew that, okay, it's, I think if this works, it's going to be really awesome. If it doesn't, it could be such a mistake. <laughs> 
game and uh, no it wasn't like we got the first mixes we're like, we're like fuck yeah like all of us together I was like okay we did the right call here and that was perfect so but we worked really hard on the tracking as well me and Ali we, we spent like months on, on the recording those drums and guitars and, and the bass tracks and making sure like um, Mauricio delivers like the, the right energy on the vocals and we, we really polished the thing and then we sent it to, to Jay Rostin and he, he totally brought it up to another level so that that's really exciting yeah and it's so great to hear that too I mean it's you know sometimes it comes from that inspiration as well you know just like a going outside of what you're comfortable with and um, using exactly, the producer like exactly we are like, we were looking for a for producers for this record and and we're like uh, for for the mix and we wanted to try something uh, like a little different approach we, we we knew for sure we wanted to go a bit more organic on the sound because the last few albums we we kind of like stayed to the more traditional like that metal modern sound and we wanted to go a bit outside the box and we were and all, all of a sudden we're in the van driving while we were on out on, on tour with in flames and we heard the the new intro record on the radio was like who the hell did this record like that sounds amazing <laughs> and uh, we looked it up on online we're like oh, Jerry Rossman huh why not why not give him a call and try that guy out see uh, see if he would work with us and, and if he could do something for, for our band and he was all excited about the project and he's also he's, he's Canadian uh, originally so uh, he knew who we were and uh, like that we won like awards over there and stuff and so he was it was all uh, all win-win in the end oh I couldn't agree more I mean especially from that fan perspective I mean being able to have that uh, quality of production mixed in with uh, the, the cataclysm formula being rejuvenated I mean that's it's gonna make meditations I I believe one of the most resounded uh, albums of 2018 I mean one once people get a chance to be able to check this album out and see what you guys are doing here when it comes in all aspects, I think people are really going to be able to appreciate this album for what it is. Uh, I, I hope so. I, I think, I mean, for me personally, I feel like it's mission accomplished. Then it's just up to uh, the listeners and the, the metal fans to see what they think. And like, yeah, I'm curious to hear comments from everybody and, and see what uh, nice to have that confirmation that you're doing the right thing or that you're what you uh, you enjoy other people enjoy as well but it also like sometimes people will bring in like uh, ideas or fresh things like fresh outlooks that will help us like craft the next record or see what direction we're going to take after that yeah, and you know, in the meantime, when it comes to that too, I mean, it's going to be a great feeling to be able to play some new songs live. I mean, of course, with the uh, great array of songs that you guys have been able to do with uh, the Cataclysm discography, it's always great to be able to add some new blood into the live shit and into the live. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait. Some of these songs, I'm so excited to play live. I'm, I'm like, I, I know they're like some of these tracks. They're just live tracks like it, it's gonna be amazing and uh and the set list we're gonna have with all the the cool stuff from the past plus those new songs in it's gonna be so much fun playing those shows i'm i can't wait to start like uh like it's we're gonna go live i think in june the first few shows and uh i i can't wait to be then <laughs> like it's it's kind of come fast enough and, and speaking of that, I mean, of course, uh, when you're starting to add the new songs into the sets, I mean, it's it's always going to be a challenge to be able to decide uh, what previous songs are going to be in there. Uh, have you guys decided yet, uh, or have you started working on what's going to be in from uh, the previous material? Oh, I, I mean, uh, we, we have such a, a big repertoire that we kind of, we move it around to keep 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 it interesting for ourselves and, and for the fans. So every tour we try to... We we have a few songs that we need to play that I know that if we don't like, people are gonna be pissed off. So we we make sure to always have a few of those in there. But most of the times, like we we play with everything else because we have so many cool tracks from from so many records. So we try to always bring surprises and and different things on on the table, and then we add like the the good tracks from the latest records and stuff. And it, I I think it's cool because like that. 12, what, what, 12, 13 records, I think now. So, so many songs to choose from, and we can, we're gonna craft like a killer 
headliner show for, for for the upcoming you know, touring cycle. Oh, and that just makes me so excited as a fan too, because there's so many different eras of Cataclysm that can be shown off here. Whether that's uh, this rejuvenation that people are going to be able to hear, whether it's uh, stuff from the beginning, whether yeah, it's, there's uh, a lot of songs fire. that like yeah. uh, that, w- that would now make sense, like from the past that could be added with this record, <laughs> and that works. That would work perfectly, and and we're all throwing ideas right now of what we want to do, but we we want to bring you a few surprises for sure. Yeah, and, that, and so great to be able to do that too. I mean, with with the great array of songs that you guys have, I mean, the fact that you can go out and like uh, have like all these different songs that will fit together so perfectly for a new album, and it still makes sense. And then once the next album comes around, you're able to switch out songs like that, and it still makes sense. I mean, it's great to be able to have that kind of legacy where people want to go out and hear all these different styles uh, from the band, and always getting something new every time that they go see you guys. Yeah. yeah. It, it is, that's the one thing that it's, it's interesting for us as well as musicians because you you get to like a, a, like like not showcase but you get to uh, play with different emotions and different uh, era and time of, of your career and and it's not always the same thing because I would hate to be in one of those bands that always play the same set list every single tour and just add a few new songs a couple new tracks and that's it like I, I really to me what makes it interesting to play guitar in this band is like to to switch it around and have have always something new to offer because uh, otherwise it's like you're on the road for for months and it, it gets boring to play the same stuff over and over and over and i think people like the fans can i uh, for sure feel it if you get bored of your own music like it's 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 really important to keep that fire alive for the live shows and in speaking of that, uh, outside of Cladoclism, I mean, you guys have been, or, or you've been able to do some amazing production work uh, outside of the band. How much has that inspired you when it comes into your own playing? I mean, I, I, you know, sometimes you do something. It's funny because I'll, I'll, I'll work on a mix for like another artist and, and stuff, and I, I, I'm blown. Like, I, I do something really, really good at that. I'm like, damn, that's good. It's like, why can't I do this for my own band? <laughs> I start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and, you know, you know, you know it's, it's inspiring because like uh, I get ideas left and right from different. Uh, like it's a different areas of the of of, of music and you, you're like sometimes say I'll, I'll hear something for sure and i'll be like okay actually we should do something like this for for like a cataclysm track i think it would work so i uh, i take notes I, I put it in there whenever it's time to write then i uh, I've, I've already come with a, a few ideas i want to try to explore and see if it works when it works we just put it right in and sometimes it just doesn't work and we just we tried it and <laughs> we leave it aside but uh, yeah it's really inspiring I, I love doing production work and it's like it keeps me uh, living from music because we're doing the cataclysm uh, mostly as our main job and then like like uh, on the side I get to uh, work work uh, productions with other bands and so it keeps me busy all year and I, I don't like I'm not one of those guys that likes to sit home and, and do nothing I, I, I need to keep myself busy so that keeps me busy and and uh, yeah for sure like you always progress you work with different people different ideas different point of views and it makes you a better artist overall yeah, and that's such a great thing, rather than feeling like you have to be stuck into one particular project, and whether it's just playing guitar or just doing production or something like that. I mean, the fact that you're able to explore all these different ideas and uh, being able to do production work, being able to work with all these great different bands, and then, of course, uh, being able to work on a new awesome album from Cataclysm like this. I mean, the fact that you're able to work with all this great inspiration, all these great different ideas, I mean, that's got to be great for creativity. Oh, yeah, it keeps your brain going, and uh, you're, you're just constantly... Uh, you're constantly in it, so it, it just... Uh, yeah, it's, it's very... Uh, it's, it's very, uh, for sure, positive creatively, and, um, and I... I really, I'm, I'm really happy with the stuff I've done lately, and and um, the, some of the these albums I worked on are doing well. So it's it's, it's very cool. I I keep getting more and more calls, but the hard part for me is to find time for everybody because we have such a busy touring schedule with Cataclysm that 
like a like I, I try to schedule the rest of my year around the Cataclysm Touring schedule and like I'm getting more and more calls for production and it's hard to find time for everybody which is kind of a good problem for me but at the same time there's so many things I want to work on and I can't because I, I just don't have the, the, the physical time to, to do it but uh, I try to I try my best to uh, take as many interesting projects as I can and like like I uh, I fill up my year and my schedules like that and it's it's and I'm I'm very happy uh, where I'm at in my life right now so that's things are exciting and uh, yeah like uh, with everything feels reju rejuvenated like I you know I I feel like I'm in my twenties again and it's a great feeling. Yeah and. You know, it's just like uh, from someone who aspires to be able to uh, do something like that, being able to work with uh, all these different styles, work with all these other musicians, and being able to still have a main project to call your own. I mean, it's it's very inspiring to see that you are able to work in all these different areas of the music business and being able to uh, still have that love and passion every time that you do something new and being able to attribute it into different styles. I mean, it's so great to be able to see that. Yeah, it's, it's important to keep that fire burning. I think like if if you lose that, then it's just I feel there's it just becomes like a like a factory working process, and, and it's just I, I think there's no place for that in, in this industry. You need to uh, keep that flame burning and just go for it. And I feel like I'll, I always tell my my friends like uh, whenever like I'm not having fun doing this anymore, and it's not there. I just I'm just gonna stop and do something else because if you don't have that, that, that passion and none none of this makes sense or it wouldn't would not make sense to me at least like i, I think uh, it's very important to have that element and uh, i think like both my uh, all the types of work i do in this industry like fires up something else because sometimes I'll, I'll just do i'll be working on on a project and like I, I hear some great, fresh, new ideas, and you're like, "Man, I could totally do some type, some something like that with with my band," and then vice versa. And like, it's a, it's it's a big, uh, it's like everything helps everything else, and it's a, uh, it's it's a, no, it's it's a good thing. It's a good uh, chemistry going between all that. Yeah, and again, uh, from the fan perspective, I mean, it's awesome to see where you are right now in 2018, and being able to uh, work the way that you do, having the having a band like Cataclysm, and you know, just like everything that you do when it comes in the music, it's great to be able to hear that inspiration and that rejuvenation that's going on with meditations. And again, I keep I keep saying it because I really do believe it, and it's and it's going to end up being one of my favorite albums of the year, and easily one of my one of if not my favorite album from Cataclysm. I mean, just from start to finish, everything about this album is just what I love about the band with some uh, new inspiration that's going on there, amazing production, amazing work from everyone in the band, and. You know, it's just, it. I can't say it enough. I love the rejuvenation and the positivity and everything that's going on surrounding the band. It's just, it made for such an incredible album. And it's so awesome to be able to talk to you about it and being able to help promote it. All right. Thank you so much for all the great comments. It makes me, <laughs> like, uh, makes me happy to be alive today. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's so great to hear that, and that I'm I'm glad to be able to do it. I mean, I love being able to show off the bands that I care about, and uh, I knew from the moment that I got the album was really able to start digesting it. I just I loved everything that was going on with it. It just made me so excited to be able to talk to you about it because there's so many great aspects that's going on there. Everything from the artwork to the production to the musicianship that's going on there. And it just makes me so excited for the next time you guys come to Minnesota because I know these new sounds are absolutely absolutely going to crush live. Oh yeah, man. I can't wait. And I always love playing Minnesota because I have so many friends there. And that's that's a very cool area. Which city are you from? Uh, I'm just about uh, 15 minutes away from the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Oh, very cool. So, like, in, uh, in the middle of the center, the Twin Cities there. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and it's funny because um, uh, when... I th I think it was about uh, five years ago you guys were playing at uh, Station 4 in St. Paul, and it was uh, actually one of my first interviews. The first year I started doing interviews, I was able to talk to you on the bus and everything and was talking about this. And uh, th it's a great thing to be able to go like full circle, being able to go uh, about like five, six years ago, being able to talk to you again and talking about such a great album. 
Uh, very cool, very cool. <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> well, awesome. Well, uh, once again, thank you so very much for taking the time to be able to talk to me about everything that's going on in the world of Cataclysm. And, of course, uh, talking about the amazing new album, Meditations, which is coming out June 1st through Nuclear Blast. It was an absolute honor to be able to talk to you again, uh, hearing your perspective when it comes either into production or uh, just finding new uh, rejuvenation in yourself or whatever the case is. I mean, it was awesome to be able to talk to you about everything that's going on. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. It was like, uh, it was good to hear so many good uh, compliments. <laughs> and, yep. Thank you so much. Oh, not a problem. Uh, before we wrap things up, is there anything else you'd like to mention that I hadn't brought up yet? No, just a big thank you to big thank you to our supporters like that have been hardcore about what we do uh, since like the beginning and the, and the the, the newer uh, generations of supporters because it's weird like we're playing uh, shows and people I talk to like like there's so many generations of people that got into uh, cataclysm at one point and. Uh, it's, it's uh, just want to say a big thank you to everybody and like uh, endless support. It's, it's it's much more than I would have ever anticipated when I started playing music. So uh, yeah, thanks again. 